You know that classic trope you'll see occasionally in TV shows where they have the character go to a therapist, the therapist will hold up ink blots and say, how does this make you feel? Well, I'm going to do that with you right now. Let's do this exercise together. I'm going to show you a picture and I don't even need to ask how it makes you feel. I know exactly how this picture makes you feel. Disgusted. That right there, friends, is a picture of Jack No Sack Doherty. He's like this embarrassing, cringe SCP that elicits a fight-or-flight response from everyone that looks at him. But no one ever chooses flight, they always choose fight. Because everybody hates this guy and wants to fight him. I've made fun of him plenty of times. Everybody has. Mr. Rogers would bully Jack Doherty. He is just biologically engineered to be unlikable. From the decisions he makes, to the things that he does, to the way that he behaves like everything about him is just yucky and makes people want to like lash out at him like it's it's actually impressive just how hard it is to find anything good about Jack Doherty so I've covered him even recently where he crashed his McLaren and his friend was bleeding he's like oh man hey can you start filming me oh my McLaren it's that guy and I covered him previously when he would go around harassing people and then hiding behind his bodyguards when they tried to fight him for it. He is just a menace. And he's done plenty of other things too that I haven't bothered insulting him for. But I just can't resist the urge to insult him today as well. Because now he has become so desperate after getting banned everywhere for all of the terrible shit that he does that he's resorted to pump and dump crypto scamming the last remaining splinter of his audience. Any news on Jack Dorky? Yeah, he just did a rug pull today. Or last night. He got in on that pump dot fun rug pull. He couldn't resist the forbidden fruit. It was a... Uh, I think he deleted a lot of it. Well, let me pull it up. He's streaming on a super obscure site called Party 2. I just heard about Party. The reason I heard about it is because it apparently just launched recently and it's already filled with porn. I don't know if he streamed this. I don't think he streamed this on Party. I think this was on just straight up Twitter. Yeah. Oh, no, no, Where's Party? Let's see. Anyone that gets it right, guys, I'm going to be sending your uh, soul to you guys. If you guys want some soul, I'm going to be sending some soul to y'all. It's crazy how I can click anywhere in this 23, 23 minute stream, holy. And I thought I barely streamed. <laughs> Oh my. But it's crazy how I can click anywhere in this 23 minute stream and just hit a place where he is scamming. Just a random spot. Yeah, here it is. He eventually buys McLaren. Because of his McLaren crash, he's leaning into it. So he keeps talking about buying the McLaren coin on Pump Fun. All that Solana. Oh boy. And eventually just in stream without saying anything. It doesn't even look like he made much money from the rug either. Like if you just look at the graph, it doesn't seem like he even made off with it like any money. Was it that initial pump and dump? That's what I couldn't tell. I think so. Like it must have been. I'm pretty sure his friends made it in the background so he was stalling for time. Which is what the uh, Reddit speculates as well. But it just doesn't seem like he even made much from it. He's just that desperate. And also, very few people even bothered playing ball with it. But everyone who did, deserved to get scammed. If you're putting money into a Jack Dorky fucking meme coin on Pump.Fun, you just shouldn't have access to your money. You need a guardian. You need someone that handles it for you and shuts down your bad ideas. If I needed money to pay bills, would it be okay to pump and dump, or is it illegal? That's the craziest... I don't know if you're memeing or not, but the craziest thing is, the TikTok fucking broccoli hair nine-year-olds, like, all of them are getting fed pump and dumps, and a lot of them think that that's, like, a totally normal thing to do, and not bad. It's not regulated, but it's not legal. It is still illegal it's fraudulent it's scamming it is still illegal but no one's gonna get punished for it but since it's not regulated you're not gonna see jack dork dorky get taken away in handcuffs 
It's fucked because kids thinking it's a way of life. They should be worried about toys. Yeah, like the 13-year-old that rugged <laughs> three times in a day for 50 grand. Oh, God. It's sad. It's actually sad. I'm sure he's going to do more of these, too. I just have a hunch he's going to keep doing this. Because it is like an infinite money glitch right now. It seems like everyone who makes a pump.fun coin is getting tons of suckers to immediately buy in, hoping that they're there early enough for when it graduates and they make, like, a fat bag off it. But it's just not going to happen. It is just not going to happen. You have better odds in the lottery. But I know there are a lot of people who have already made tons of money from it. Just like there's people that have made tons of money from the lottery. It's just not going to be you. Pump and dumping crypto is a moral good because it scams crypto bros. It's your civic duty and also funny. Wow. Checkmate, actually. I was going to try and, like, have an argument against you, but you're right. The only people on Pump.Fun are actually the people who deserve to get scammed. <laughs> you're actually... You're cooking. Wait a minute. You just fucking flambéed that. There's mathematically better odds at beating a pump and dump than winning lotto casino or casinos. I Yeah, I think you do have, like, slightly higher odds. But you have to also calculate that everyone on Pump.Fun is scamming. Like, they are rug pulls. So you are not in on when that's coming. So you, you still have to get absurdly lucky, which is why it's still like statistically very unlikely that anyone that's outside of the scammer's ring makes money off of the pump dot fun rugs. Why can't they just keep the co why can't they just keep the coin going and take a bit out here and there instead of rug pulling? I feel like it's long term more profitable. Scamming seems so dumb. <laughs> that was so innocent. That was like a kid asking, why do people do bad things? The reason you rug it is because there is no long term with a pump.fun shitcoin. It is designed to be rugged. They don't have a use. It's there to pump and then take your money out so people are left holding the bag. You can't take little bits and pieces out because then you risk not being the benefactor. They are... It is actually, from a design perspective, there to fail, and you calculate the fail. It's so degenerate. Is Jack going to get jumped soon? I doubt it, man. Anyone that bought into the pump.fun probably had their parents' permission to do it. If they wanted to jump Jack, they'd have to talk to their dad to have him drive over there. Otherwise, they have to roll up on the green machine. They claim pump prevents rugs by making sure all created tokens are safe. Each coin on pump is a fair launch with no pre-sale and no long t Yeah, I saw. That's just to cover their own ass legally. Pump.fun is making so much money they're going to be in the crosshairs of, like, regulators or investigators or something down the line. So they're just doing all they can to, like, legally cover themselves. But the site is literally made for rug pulls. That's the whole point. It's going to give birth to a whole new generation of highly skilled and experienced scammers. Nope. <laughs> no, it is not. Like that 13-year-old with the huge rug pull the other day for Quant. He didn't do anything, like, technically impressive. On the site, on pump.fun... I don't want to pull up the site. The site is so fucking degenerate. But on the site, there's something that just says start coin. You click start coin, and you can just make your shit token. He didn't do anything besides just click make coin... Using whatever fucking protocol is native there. I don't. I, I have no idea. Launched it and then just streamed. And then people started putting money into it. And he said, thanks for the 20 bandos. Left. And then came back with, I'm sorry. Thanks for the 10 bandos. Left. Then came back for Lucy. Another 10 bandos, idiots. And then left. The, the experience he gained is that people are fucking idiots. That was the experience he gained from it. He's not highly skilled. Crazy to think Quant Kid probably made fifty er, made fifty k from scamming and probably still believes in Santa. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna try and buy one of the reindeer from Santa's sleigh. Not satisfied with just one pump and dump on his audience, Jack Dorky did it again. Like King Neptune, he said that was so good, I want to try it a second time. So he apparently did another stream on Twitter where he rugged another coin. I can't find that broadcast, so I only have this screenshot to go off of, but you can still see the tweets that he was posting about it before going live. So, 
He clearly was doing a meme coin stream, then deleted some of the tweets, and in the comment section you can see people being very upset that he rugged them again. The shit coin this time around for Jack was hated. The lore being, people hate Jack, for good reason. So, he immediately rugged it, as soon as he could, speedrunning financial crimes with a goofy smile on his face that not even his mother could love. And now, as an act of revenge, the people that got rugged are now driving the price of Hated up really high. Same play that we saw from the playbook when that 13-year-old rugged people with Quant, and then after he was out, they drove the market cap through the goddamn roof. They fucking blasted that Insano style in order for the kid to feel bad because he made 30k when he could have made a million if he held. Though he would have never made a million because if he didn't rug them, it would have never had that market cap because people wouldn't have done that. It's a secondary scam. So what happened is people got rugged, then they start putting in more and more money to give the appearance like, hey, we need to get revenge, so we're going to drive this up. So then they drive it up in order to get some people to buy in, so that way the people that got rugged can get the fuck out without taking as much of a loss on it. So that's what they're trying again here with Jack Dorky's meme coin. I can't believe people bought into his first shit coin with McLaren, let alone the second time. This is the exact same thing that just happened on the same site with the exact same formula here a couple days ago with Quant and people are still falling victim to it. And Jack is gonna keep doing this. Jack is probably gonna do this every single day, and unfortunately, I think it's going to work every single time because for some reason, people keep thinking that they are the galaxy brain. They are the one who knocks. Yeah, it's a rug pull, we know Jack's gonna rug it, but I'm going to be there when he does to capitalize off all the idiots, all the sheep that don't see between the lines like I do. Wake the fuck up, moron. Everybody knows that. Everyone's doing that same thing, which is why you keep getting rugged. That's the whole purpose of this. Like, it's going to keep happening. The only person that wins, well, two people, Jack and Pump.Fun. Pump.Fun's making 20 million plus a month off of this degeneracy. And Jack is able to just keep farming imbeciles, absolute buffoons. It, it actually blows my mind how willing people are to just get scammed, blatantly scammed, laughed at in their face and keep coming back for more. It's nuts. So I expect Jack to be doing this every day until the fucking authorities show up and take him away in handcuffs if that day ever comes. He is literally streaming himself committing financial crimes. But because it's in the crypto sector, it's not something they actively pursue all that hard. But Maybe they will at some point, and he'll, he'll face the piper then. Anyway, though, that's really about it. See ya.